Hi, this is Shadi. I want to talk about the Kyuzo Mifune footage, fights, and a lot of the criticism that his randori with his students get from various people. From my comment section, whenever I post it, people will be like, this is fake, to people like Ramsey Dewey and Rokas and people who are not judokas. So uh, what today I'm going to do is look at it a little bit and actually address it and talk about my own personal training in Japan because it is very much different from your outside world. So a lot of people even say that, you know, this is somewhat fake and Hickson is just letting him do what he wants because he's so old. Now, first of all, uh, if you manage to stay alive at this age, congratulations. But if you can manage to actually go to training, that's even greater hell if if you can go to the bathroom by yourself at uh, this, this age of elio then congratulations but in terms of saying this is fake or this is not right it takes away a lot of the technical excellency and a lot of the accomplishment that these you know grapplers have done and in my opinion it is not uh, right this is strictly a battle of technique and today I'm going to look at it from the concept of judo. Don't tell me that if a young MMA guy goes at him or someone with a gun. I'm talking strictly about technique and why it is not uh, fake. You see, growing old gracefully has its advantages and particularly in knowing when to do something and when not to do something. So let's take a look at the some of the fights here and actually discuss them first of all they're going round after round after round so going violently and balls to the walls is just not very smart and if you do do that in training then you're probably this pazzy white belt so first of all here against uh, izumi yama um, he rides completely rides it and just let it take his place however he is very much framing with his hands and not letting him uh, do his technique so framing with the hands invisibly quote is gonna greatly uh, cripple any attempt of kuzushi here you see him riding a throw and now this is where the magic happens i want you to look at this uh, ippon semanage attempt that izumiyama is about to do so here look at how he turns and explodes into it and then as he turns around and tries to re-establish himself he is thrown by tomonage let's look at it slowly so he explodes into ippon seonage look at how mifune turns the other side hooks his leg with the uh leg of his partner and then as his partner turns around and tries to re-establish himself he is thrown before he has it so let's take a look at it one more time really slowly ippon seonage takes his hips to the far side and hooks his leg to kill any uh, attempt at dumping him over the shoulder and as he is trying to uh, establish his grips again when he turns around he is already thrown for Tomoe Nage. and the way he explodes into that Tomoe Nage, first of all at his age it is nothing but technical genius technical excellency and also it cannot be faked technical excellency such as this cannot be faked so let's take a look at the other fight and again this is about keeping good posture and framing with your grips your tsurite your hikite in a sense that you cannot be snapped down when being hit with dashi harai let's take a look at it one more time so he circles around it and rides it so if he has complete dominance with his grips and he snaps you down with dashi harai you're gonna fall down but since mifune had his grips fully established and his posture really un how do you say does not compromise his posture he cannot be thrown down again someone like him who has won the kohaku shiai back to back month after month and achieving tense dan to fake fights with his students in my opinion is just it makes no sense i don't think someone of his stature would actually accept this and here for example this one here uh, the, the way he's switching with his hips and attacking explosively and you know he is much younger than him this is something that i've actually seen happens there's a guy in my kodokan class a black belt great osotogari i've seen him topple guys with it many times yet when he goes up against the old guys that look like mifune he looks like his osotogari is useless and he's just flying all over the dojo because they're letting his attack pass 
or they're just countering him and he cannot establish his grips. The gripping in Japan might seem like it is 50-50, but in fact, it is not. So let's talk a little bit about Nage Ura no Kata or Nage or Urawaza, uh, which a lot of people don't even know about. So the idea of it is to take an attack and then return it, throw it's very much like what you call a counter attack but in my opinion it is next level so uh particularly here this one serenage he rides serenage drops down takes the momentum of it and actually goes down for a yoko sutemi very rarely being done today you see a lot of you know people hooking their leg and then countering with uranage and s stuff like that but in terms of riding a throw completely fully and then countering it is somewhat impossible even by today's standards you will see this a lot today acrobatic guys riding a throw but landing in a way that's very dangerous in a real fight if this was concrete you would smash your elbows smash your face smash your lungs etc but um kizomi fune would have wrote this beautifully and finds his way in such a way that he would actually counter it so much like a cat um so here this is there's a kata actually done by uh, kyuzomi fune countering throws with other throws and you would see this where he would actually ride a throw and then fully into a counter attack so uh what i'm trying to say is in japan a lot of the gripping is it looks like 50 50 but the way you frame with your wrist the way you can control the sleeve uh these are things that would not otherwise would not be visible on camera and uh, i mean if they were and we were able to see them now all of us would be probably red belts now wouldn't we but uh, what kizo mifune here is doing you have to actually see it for yourself you have to train with an older generation of judokas in japan i've been here for almost two months now and i've been doing this almost every day and i see what they're doing like i fought this uh, red and white belt uh, I believe he was seventh or eighth done and you just cannot get in and the way he frames with his grips um, the way he moves his hips slightly the way he shifts the back of his heel a little bit uh, backwards it eliminates some of the big attacks and not only me but also when I see him go up against other big uh, guys who are young who are black belts who would otherwise throw guys with their osotogari and their uchimata and yet they would just lower their hips a little bit move them a little bit um, frame with their grips sometimes the gripping might look 50 50 as they both establish but then from there you work from the inside that's how they usually do it they work from the inside you don't see these big movements of gripping and trying to snap someone down that's mainly you see it in competition but in terms of going round after round after round you really have to save your energy and nobody trains like in competition every single round so when hong from og fitness brown belt judoka and national champion said that what stood out to him was the lack of gripping again he's going round after round after round how do you expect him to do that you just can't and also in japan a lot of the competitions are like that my competition when i beat the first guy the second guy immediately came in it's not that you know you go and rest i don't know 10 20 minutes even between rounds because there's just so much competitors no you stay on the mat until you are gone and that will create this feeling of okay i need to preserve my energy i need to be as smart as possible with everything that i do now for example this footage here you know damian maya and marcelo garcia flow rolling as they call it a lot of the people in the comment section are you know this is jujitsu this is you know t this is the highest level of jujitsu when you understand how to preserve energy and you know this is black belt level and uh you know making jokes about this pansy white belts etc but when someone like mifune you know preserves a lot of energy with his grips or elio gracie as an old man do doing the same thing it's suddenly faked like i'm sorry but if you're not a judoka you especially if you haven't trained in japan you will never understand the I'm not joking or mocking, but the invisible judo that's found in the gripping, in how you stay upright all the time and how you actually counter some of the biggest attacks, no matter how young the guy is, with simple positioning. 
Now, you might argue, you know, if a young MMA guy is charged at him or etc. Yeah, I can come with a gun at him and just start, you know, emptying the bullet from the chamber. That will also work as well. But in terms of judo technique and judo randori, I cannot say this is fake at all. I've trained in Japan. I've trained with the young guys and I've trained with the old guys. And as a judoka, for the people that are not judokas, like Ramsey Dewey and Rokas and all these people uh, criticizing this footage, you just don't know. I'm sorry to tell you this. Like me, for example, when I talk about another martial art, you know, judo versus another art, I always speak within the context of judo through judo lens, comparing similar throws and trying to see where the difference lies, whether it is in the kuzushi, you know, like in karate, their kuzushi is their strike. Some, you know, it's the difference in their jacket, like Swai Jiao and Boh. Uh, some, it's belt grips, like belt wrestling, etc. But uh, I always try to see it through a judoka, and I don't tell other arts if they are working or they're doing it correctly or not. I just don't do that because I don't practice that art. And if I did, uh, at one point in my YouTube career, I'm terribly sorry. Like the one thing I truly regret is my uh, freestyle wrestling versus judo where I said that there's a lot more strength being used in wrestling and judo is more of, you know, no strength. And that's very idealistic and that's wrong actually. And a lot of the competitors in judo now, they look like bodybuilders and they use tons of strength. But in terms of the old classical Japanese judo, the way you see it here, the upright posture, the correct positioning, the stuff that you cannot see on camera, it is not fake. I'm sorry to tell you this, this is not fake. Or Elio Gracie's technical fight with Hickson. Sure, he's old, but you know, make it to his age and then we can talk, even me personally. So if you have anything else to add, oh, by the way, I've even reached out to Shintaro Higashi and I said, let's have a talk. And during that talk, I'm willing to discuss the Kyuzo Mifune um, tape or footage of his randori because Shintaro is someone I truly admire. He is someone I truly respect and I want to learn from. He is uh, six done. His father is a red belt. He's done judo all his life and he knows what he's talking about. And I'm willing to learn from him so much and I'm willing to discuss this footage with him. And he actually accepted. No date has been established yet. I don't know when, but the talk will happen. Um, but other than that, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.